Now, let's eat from the Food City Kitchen. Value every day. I'm Chip Chapman. June, all month long, is National Dairy Month, so we're going to talk about some of the better benefits health-wise and taste-wise involving dairy. Who are we doing that with? Our friends at Food City, the expert dietitian Nicole Pajerko. Nicole, good to see you again. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Dairy, so important in everyone's diet. Yes. First question before we get to this, how much dairy do you recommend on a daily basis? Yeah. For children, anywhere from two to two and a half cups a day, two and a half cups equivalent, and for adults, three cups a day. Now, most co Americans come nowhere close to meeting that recommendation. Understood. What are a couple of the tips that you would recommend when you are doing your shopping for anything dairy, whether it's yeah. cheese, whether it's frozen yogurt, whether it's sour cream? Take it yeah, away. Yeah, absolutely. The benefit of dairy products is it really is a balance of macronutrients. So you've got carbohydrates, you've got complete sources of protein, and you've got a little bit of fat too. Of course, the type of fat that is found in dairy products is saturated fat. So if you're trying to watch your intake of saturated fat, I might recommend switching to a low fat or a even fat free. But if you do like your whole milk and can't give it up, then you can still enjoy that while cutting elsewhere throughout the day. And really, if you're doing it right, it's awfully hard to tell the difference between mm -hmm. something that is totally fat-free or one that's either 2% or absolutely yes. loaded up. Absolutely, especially with something like a uh, Greek yogurt, for example. It's already really thick. Now, fat often gives you that texture, that kind of creamy component. But with something like a Greek yogurt, you're already going to get that. So you may not be able to taste the difference in a, a non-fat. All right, let's get started here. Mm -hmm. What is the name of this dish that yes. we're going to be making as we celebrate Dairy Month? So these are rosemary, rosemary blueberry yogurt uh, cups. You can certainly put them into popsicle molds and make them a frozen popsicle Wait treat. a minute, rosemary mm -hmm. blueberry. Not, yes. not two flavors you normally associate together. Maybe not. You could certainly use lavender buds instead of the rosemary if you like, but this one has rosemary and it tastes pretty good. I added a little bit of lemon juice to the uh, blueberries. There are two cups of blueberries, so you're getting fiber, you're getting antioxidants in that, along with all of that good protein, calcium, vitamin D that you're getting from the yogurt as well. All right, where do we start? Yeah, so what I did is I uh, took my food processor, you can use a blender, blend two cups of uh, blueberries with some lemon juice, vanilla, and a little bit of honey. You can also zest the uh, lemon into two cups of yogurt, a little more honey, and then you just mix them together. Pop them in the freezer for at least six hours or overnight. Wow, and this is what you get, yes. sort of the end result. That's what you get. This looks absolutely amazing. Quickly, tell me how the Food City Pick Well program helps you select these ingredients yes. to where it comes out better for you in the stomach and in the wallet as well. Yes, so our Pick Well shelf tag is kind of your nutritional shopping guide. So we have tags such as heart healthy, no sugar added, which is of particular importance with stuff like yogurt, which sometimes they sneak in a lot of added sugar. So you can look for that tag. The carb aware is another one uh, that indicates products with zero to 15 grams of carbs per serving. So if you're looking to watch carbohydrates, then that's a good one to look out for too. One of my final questions, what if you're lactose intolerant? Mm -hmm. Yes, so lactose intolerant people can still enjoy um, a glass of milk if they like. Um, looking for lactose-free milk, manufacturers will add lactase, which is the enzyme that is produced by people who can tolerate milk, and it breaks down that lactose so that we're able to tolerate. So that's just added to the milk and wow. um, removes the lactose. Very, very appetizing. We're going to take a break so we can try some of this stuff yes. here. If you want the recipe, it's quick and easy to find. You can go to foodcity.com foodcity.com, and we'll have it, of course, on WDEF.com. Nicole, thanks so much. Look forward to spending a few more minutes with you here in the coming weeks as we team up with Food City and Let's Eat. Let's Eat from the Food City Kitchen. Value every day.